UAA Robotics is proud to submit our system acceptance review video for consideration by the University Rover Challenge Judges Panel. Entering our fourth year with support from UAA and many professional organizations, our team of over 15 students chose to iterate upon and optimize last year's design. Introducing Iceberg 3.5. UA Robotics is divided into teams dedicated to each rover subsystem, mechanical, electrical, software, science, and project management. We developed a Gantt chart and tasks based on challenge requirements and available resources. By utilizing FEA on mechanical structures, 3D printing, and industrial machining equipment, we rapidly prototyped and optimized new design features. As supplies were purchased, we built, troubleshot, and tested systems in parallel. The Iceberg 3.5 chassis was designed around the extreme retrieval task and remains largely unchanged from last year. It consists of a main structural member cut from 2-inch square tubing that runs the length of the chassis and two custom C-channel beams that contain suspension elements. The rover runs on a 720 watt-hour lithium-ion battery pack, providing ample power for each competition task. Five cameras face in various directions to give the driver sufficient visibility at all times. These provide multiple close-ups of the end effector and wide-angle views of the arm and rover. The rover uses a set of 900 megahertz ubiquity radios to provide multiple video streams as well as rover commands, allowing maximum propagation across terrain. A pair of five DBI dipole antennas are mounted high on the rover, while the base station uses a 120 degree directional antenna with a 13 decibel gain. The base station runs a custom graphical application built with WX Python for viewing rover camera streams and monitoring and controlling the rover. It features a navigation system to display the position of the rover in real time from transmitted GPS coordinates and a configurable control system enabling operation of the rover with a pair of gamepad controllers. We focused on improving our computer vision and navigation software for the autonomous traversal mission. During navigation, the rover uses an onboard GPS and accelerometer magnetometer to precisely determine its position and orientation. OpenCV analyzes the image and depth data from a stereoscopic camera to determine obstacles and hazardous terrain and identify competition markers. Our pathfinding system uses a record of encountered obstacles to calculate the most direct path to a waypoint coordinate. The arm design drew inspiration from a number of industrial sources. The shoulder is powered by a 200-pound linear actuator, minimizing any moment forces in the upper arm. The elbow uses a 32-1 worm gear transmission that provides smooth, predictable motion and over 100 pound-feet of available torque. This design allows the forearm to be opposite from the upper arm to gain 360 degrees of freedom. We elected to use a worm gear on the wrist along with a unique and effective design that is able to rotate continuously without the use of slip rings. The end effector utilizes a gripper and screwdriver system to accomplish the extreme retrieval and equipment servicing tasks. Three DC motors and a linear actuator provide a clamping force of 13 pound feet in a range of two and a half inches with precision control of nine hundredths of an inch. Paired with the robotic arm, the end effector has a five axis range of motion. The main axis is controlled via a worm drive gearbox minimizing power draw. A 3D printed enclosure prevents dust from entering their gearbox and belt drive systems. The replaceable pads on the gripper are designed for versatility, allowing the rover to grip items, enter commands on a keyboard, and operate a joystick. Both Phillips head and Allen key screwdrivers are mounted to the end effector and operated by the same motor to save weight. Two cameras provide first person views of the jaws and screwdriver attachments, with three laser pointers to aid in operator control. The science plan encompasses a combined approach that includes visual observations, an array of sensors, and wet lab chemistry to identify signs of life. A camera scans the area for presence of animals, metabolic wastes, tracks, microbial mats, iron staining on surfaces due to microbial metabolic activities, and fossils. Rocks and minerals are observed for signs of endolithic organisms. Soil samples are analyzed with a variety of sensors including spectroscopy and gas detection and added to luminol mixture to observe luminescence levels to determine presence of oxidizers including hemoglobin, proteins, urine, feces, copper, or iron. This concludes our 2020 URC SAR submittal. We appreciate your consideration and look forward to seeing you at the Mars Desert Research Station.